When you first load up the Arduino programming environment, or IDE, you will see that there are two sections provided for you, the setup section and the loop section. Every single Arduino program has to have these two sections, so it's important to understand what they are and what they do. There are some comments in these sections that give us a clue as to what they're about. In the setup, you'll see it says, put your setup code here to run once. And in the loop, it says, put your main code here to run repeatedly. What this means is that any code that we type in this area here, between these open squiggly brackets and these closed squiggly brackets, that code will be executed once and once only when we first turn on our Arduino or when we press the hardware reset button. Once it has finished executing the code in the setup section, it will then move on and execute any code that we put into the loop section. That's between this set of squiggly brackets and this set of squiggly brackets. Any code in this section will repeat over and over again indefinitely. That means forever, until our Arduino runs out of battery or we turn it off. Let's try and understand this a bit better by creating our first program. This program is going to be very simple. It's just going to flash an LED on and off repeatedly. The command for controlling an output that is digital is quite simply digital write. Notice that when I finished typing that command, it turned orange. And that lets me know that it's a valid command, that I've spelt it correctly, and that I've managed to get the capital letters in the right place. Notice there is a capital W in the middle here. This is a convention known as camel caps. And it's simply that when we start a second word, we capitalize the first letter of that word to indicate that it is indeed a new word. Because in programming, we can't have any spaces in our command words. So the command digital write with a small d and capital W is the first command that we're going to look at. And this command takes two parameters. And they go in a set of brackets. The command is finished, as all commands are in Arduino, with the semicolon. So let's have a look at what goes inside these brackets. The first thing that goes in is the number of the output that we want to control. In this case, we are going to control the LED connected to output one. After that pin number is a comma, and then one of two command words that tell the Arduino whether to make the voltage at that pin high or low. In this case, we're going to go high. Now it's worth spending a bit of time trying to understand what's going on here. The Arduino is able to control the output pins to be either five volts, a high voltage, or zero volts, a low voltage. And depending on what components you connect to those outputs will determine what happens when those pins are made high or low. So for our system, this is quite a simple circuit. At the center, we have the Arduino, we have a pin coming off the Arduino to which we have connected an LED, a protective resistor, and then a connection to zero volts. Now, with even a basic level of understanding of electronics, you will know that if I make the voltage at this point here, zero volts as well, there will be no difference in voltage between this point here and this point here. If there is no difference in voltage, the LED does not turn on. If, however, we change the voltage at this point here to become 5 volts, you will now see there is a difference between the voltage at this point and the voltage at this point, and therefore the LED will light up. Let's switch back to the programming environment to see what this looks like in the code. So looking at our program, we can see this command digital write one high is going to make the voltage at output pin one a high voltage or five volts. And as we've just seen, that will turn the LED on. If we want to turn the LED off again, we're going to use the same command digital write. Still going to control pin one, but this time 
we're going to make it low. This will turn the LED off. Now there's one more thing that we need to do before we can upload this program to our Arduino, and that's a slightly subtle issue. Before we can control an output pin on the Arduino, we first need to tell the Arduino that it is an output. For reasons that we might explain later on, the Arduino starts by assuming all of its pins are input until we tell it different. So if we ran this code as it is, we wouldn't see the LEDs light up at all. So what we need to do is go to our setup section and we need to put in a line of code that will tell the Arduino that pin one is meant to be an output. That command is quite simply pin mode, followed by the pin number, pin one, and the word output, all in capitals. Notice the word output changed color when I got it right, and a semicolon. This will now set pin one to be an output as the very first thing that the program does when we switch the Arduino on or press the reset button. And then by the time it gets down here in the loop section, it knows that pin one is an output and so it can make it go high and low. Next, we're gonna try uploading this program to the Arduino chip and see what happens on our tutorial shield.